imagine a man running in the in the jungle and he's being chased by a lion right and he sees a well and so he jumps in the well to escape the lion right and he holds on to the rope he looks below him he sees a snake <laughs> he, he looks above there's a lion and then he sees two little mice one black one white nibbling on the rope okay. <laughs> so, so he's like you know he's looking below he's looking above he's seeing they're nibbling on on the rope and then he sees next to him in the well a honeycomb right it's beautiful honey and he says let me taste this he, he takes a little bit of honey he tastes it and he finds it to be the most delicious honey and he forgets about the lion he, for, the lion, he forgets about the the mice he forgets about the snake <laughs> imam al-ghazali says the lion is like Malak al maut the angel of death, right? And he says, the snake is like Al-Qadr. And he says, these two mice are like the day and the night. You know, they're nibbling time. on your time. And he says, the honey is like the dunya. You taste it, you forget, you know. You, <laughs> you got a lion. You forget what's coming. But you know, subhanAllah, I want to change the story. Because Imam Al-Ghazali says, there's a snake below. But for the mu'min, for the believer, for one who's connected to Allah Azza wa Jal, it's a garden.